So here we are at Molly's house in Canyon City. We missed it, but there's a deer right there, and Nadia and the deer were just kind of hanging out. It was kind of cool. This is what we call the princess house. Um, it's getting rented out to a friend of ours so we can focus on the farmhouse. Um, and I've never really had a, done a kind of a cool little tour. So it's not gonna be ideal, but we'll see how it goes. And it comes with a, with a deer. Hey, how's it going little girl? Just hanging out? Just gonna hang out there? Okay, hang out. God, it looked so awesome before, but it's getting ready to move. We need to get photos of what it used to look like too. Man, I missed it. Two weeks ago, I could have done a little bit better tour, but. This we think was added on. Favorite part of the house is this guy. It's just so cool. This used to be a. Um, I don't think you could even walk through here. It was just they had closed it off and put shelves. Dang, everything is just trashed. This came from out of state. She was going to use that. And it wouldn't work. So I guess she's. I think she's going to sell that. Dining room, obviously. And then she painted a super cool table. This buffet, I don't know, all the stuff she got. Craigslist and stuff, that's cool, but we don't think it's going to the farmhouse because it's too big. I'm trying to figure out what we want to do out there, but. Cool door. This stuff was all, everything was redone. She did the subway tile in here. Obviously, brand new kitchen. She had them redo all this molding. It was a lot of work. A lot of work. Some of this stuff still here from the old gravity furnace. We'll go down to the basement. Maybe at the end. But this is this was an add-on to the house um, from I think just here where this wall is. And then this was all the original house. So this must have been the original kitchen. But yeah, she was like she's all into the into that the trim. She loves the trim. Um, but kept it original to the house. I should go up in the attic too. I wanted to finish the attic and make it um my train room. God, this all looks so cute. I'll try. I have a lot of photos of when it looks good, so we can put photos with the video to supplement. Um, clawfoot tub we got back where we live, um, and it's we love it, but it's it's kind of tough to take a shower in. The sheep painted. I won't open the door, but it just goes to the roof. I think it was an old fire escape or whatever. But huge bathroom. It's nice. Storage. Pretty cool. You don't see that kind of stuff anymore. Super high baseboard. So what do we got? Three bedrooms. And a bathroom up here. Big closet. Neighbor's house is super cool too. Canyon City is one of the only places you can that we could afford or that she could afford to buy a old Victorian style home. Getting ready to move her, move out, get it ready for the rental. So I don't know if these are the original doors, but pretty cool.
huge closets. Look at that. That's where my GMC sat for a year and a half or whatever, a little over a year. A little garage. We'll go in the backyard too. Are you done yet? No. Oh. Almost. We saw the kitchen pretty good. Let's go in the basement. Not much to see down here, but I know, a funny story. They electrician wired the sprinkler controller um, through a dimmer switch. So we would joke that if you can control the sprinkler flow through the with the dimmer switch. New furnace, new water heater. Amazing company down here that did it. Super cheap, super amazing job. River Valley Plumbing and Heating, Heating and Plumbing, I think was her name. Little knob and tube wiring of the house. There was no bathroom originally, it wasn't plumbed. Um, all the stuff was down here, but you can kind of see the old foundation or lack of foundation. There's my doggy. Claudia. Molly actually cleaned up. I really wanted to clean it up better than this, but um, anyways, probably not too exciting down here. Kind of, kind of creepy. I don't know. Um, we're gonna maybe use it for growing sprouts in the winter for the garden. Which I'll show you the garden in a sec. Um, yeah, not much to see down here. Just an old basement. So let's go back up. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? All right, let's go outside. So this is the little portion of the house that got added. So that whole little thing, there's that door from the bathroom. She had this fence put in. Planted these flowers this summer. Nice little garage. This is where I was staging my first attempt at getting the GMC running. First, second, third failed attempts. Finally drug it out to the farm or the farmhouse. Um, the garden has been a huge success. Zucchinis. At least one good good one. I guess they're slowing down for the year. Look at the tomatoes though. Cantaloupe. Yes. So good. I love having a garden. We can't wait to get a garden going out at the farm. So yeah, that's kinda that's the house. Let me get the front in again. Nice and cool in here, huh, girl? Yeah. She had this place so nicely dolled up. Nice, quiet street. Should do a, come back and do a tour of all the cool houses here someday. Look how cool the, the house is. Kind of typical. A lot of them have been torn down, but a lot of them are still here. That, these ones are in, these three actually, these four. Yeah, that's the princess house. She said she's going to tidy it up and we'll maybe do another tour later. See the windows up, up on the top floor are falling apart, so we got to try to fix the, at least those two bad ones. And we're trying to figure out how to do that, so see you later.
So you just stripped it and then you didn't use a wire brush or anything on it, huh? No, it's still got some. But the better idea would be that we could salvage this. Right? So we don't have to go to find another piece. If you could get it pried, you could just sawzall. Yeah, sawzall would be good. The other thing you can do is sometimes if you pry it out a little bit, yeah. and then you can push it back in, then the nail heads will be exposed and you can and then you can grab them. Maybe, okay. So I'd like you have your hand down below that. Uh, I mean, so the tools I have. I'd like you to wear some glasses. I'm gonna find some. Well, I don't need them for this. Oh, you start crying. No. Okay. Not till the power tools come out. Not but that I'm opposed to wearing glasses. I just. The idea here is that we have to be gentle so we don't shatter any glass. You're not gonna get mad at me if I make mistakes, are you? I'm gonna probably get mad if you break the glass. I'm not gonna be super happy. Okay. What okay, you... so we're gonna take the window apart. As you can see, our sash down here has completely fallen off. And I was able to remove that and strip all the paint off so we can reattach that. That was the first step. So now we're trying to get the I think this is the parting bead. There's the two, this, this piece holds the bottom sash and this piece holds the top sash. And I can't remember which is called which, but I think this is the parting bead and this is the, I don't know, rail. It's okay. Some sort. So we're trying to gently pry this off so we can reuse it. And it's not really wanting to come off. It's been nailed in and it's been painted five or six times. I wonder if it would be a good idea to get the top one first. We don't really need to get the top one off, do we? What do you mean? What do you mean? This one up here. No, we don't need to take that off. Okay. We gotta take this whole thing off. Okay. So. so you can actually see light through there. You're do you were doing good. And now, now the one I would just kind of start you know, kind of working it and see. This piece that we're prying off is readily available at most hardware stores, so. Okay. I've been told that. Oh, good. Okay, we're making progress here. Mm -hmm. You can see. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else inhibiting it from Did you say I could have a beer after I got the trim off? Or? All right, we got one of the parting beads. Oh my gosh. Yay. Yay. That's one. Okay. Yep. So we got this piece off, and then I think, and then we had to take one nail out, and I think it will come out. Oh my goodness. So you come, come over okay. and deal with the... Okay. Let's see if we set it down to so not. Like, look at the pulley. Well, we're not going to be replacing this right now. We're just going to No, but edges. ultimately you'd get in there and, and then uh, there's weights. Right, but see, they said there's normally a door, but I don't see a door, so I think the weights you have to get through to yeah, there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they're in, in that piece. Yeah. That's fine. It works, right? I mean, yeah. we're worried about sealing it at this point. So we tied a really nice navy knot in there. And then we're trying to get this piece out, which you can kind of see what's going on with it without breaking it, right? And then we're not sure if it's stationary or movable, but hopefully we can get it to come down a little bit below this lip, and then it will, except it might hit that. Mm -hmm. So all the videos I watch, they make this look so easy. It'd be cool if we get something up in there to kind of. I see some nails, I think. Oh, you do? Yeah, see them? Uh -uh. Oh. oh, maybe that's why it came off so easy. 
It won't take much force just to like snap that. Hey. I think no one's down there. I'd have a right in their head. Gotta be careful not to drop your tools out the window. But if you have a good helper, actually I'm the helper. If you have a good supervisor, I'll go down and pick your tools up for you. See? <laughs> so, only don't... It's okay to drop your tools out the window as long as you have somebody who'll get them for you. You can see though it fits in there. It fits in a groove. Mm -hmm. Coming. Yeah, I just don't see if we get a lot of angle. It'll just snap. Well, it can be replaced. Unlike me. Yeah. The pry bar would make a lot quicker work of it. I should put those glasses on. This splinter goes flying. Is that a good pop or a bad mm -hmm. pop? I think the paint. The paint release broke. Yeah. Paint nice. release. Nice. Good paint release. Okay. The window loose, and it is a double hung window. Yeah, let me go outside and show what we have out here. So we kind of broke, broke all the paint all the way around, and then just kind of started working it, and it finally let go. It was really just paint holding it, I think, don't you? Yeah. So. Well, now that we know it is double hung. Go ahead and pull it down, up and down, and show how it. That's cool. Cool tech, huh? Yeah. I love it. How neat. not broken that's the main point All right. so you said it's wavy glass why can't they manufacture today well, they I can? Think they can, oh. okay. well that's awesome double hum yeah. they went all out when they wow. selected options for this house you can't sell this house baby and look at this window super cool I don't know if that's original or not it could be seems like it is to me but I just caught that as I stepped over this mattress. I caught that with my. Yeah, that's good. So we got the window out, no accidents, no broken glass. But then as I'm stepping over the Walmart mattress, I shattered the window. Luckily, it didn't happen. But. All right, Molly's going to suit up to do some scraping and sanding. I'm going to go have my celebration beer. Um, and then I don't know, and then we're going to move the table into the garage and we're going to start rebuilding the window, right? Yeah. So what happens is the windows are falling down and I don't know if... We'll... Let's see, how does this go? 
glass, see this angle here? You had it. The glass goes here. Oh, I got you. So we'll have to get that back in there. And then I'll have to. We'll get them back. We'll just clean it up. It'll go. We'll get yeah. it to go back together. See how this is? Water has kind of damaged this. Yeah. And there's been a screw or something that split it. So we'll have to pull. But actually, when we get it back in, that's going to push this guy, the, that back apart. And yeah. It's going to be good. I mean, it's definitely had some rot. But it's solid overall. We gotta clean this kind of crap out. You know, that's inhibiting it from that's that's the stuff that made it. I guess I don't want to do that up here, huh? Yeah. So I need cool. to get this off. How hard is that to get off? Well, does Harbor Freight make depends. a deglazer tool? <laughs> it can be very difficult. <laughs> you can need a steam box. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It seems like it's on there solid. All right. I was trying to get the glazing off and felt like I was being careful, but it must have been evidently a little too aggressive for this glass pretty thin so it didn't end well so this glass lasted over a hundred and I don't know 12 years or something like that until until I got to it so it didn't end well so we went ahead and removed the rest of the glass and we're gonna take it down to the glass shop tomorrow to put new glass in it and put the glazing back on and this window should be should be good to go I'm going to take you outside and look at the window frame in the garage. And after that, I don't know, I think that's all we can look at for now. Here's the frame. On our failed attempt. So. We're taking this down to the glass store tomorrow to get rebuilt. Okay. So these are some photos of when the house was first purchased and then cleaned out. It's hard to see some of the modifications that were done by the previous owner or owners. They took out some of the original partitions between the entryway and the living room and dining room and they added some archways here and there. They also put in some shelving and a pantry between the entryway and the kitchen and various built-ins around the house. Overall it was pretty functional but Molly wanted to take it back more toward its original Victorian style. Molly hired a good friend who's an architect and she came in with some great ideas on how to reconfigure the kitchen area and get the archways back to their original design. The wood floors were cleaned up and refinished to be darker to contrast the white walls. The main intent was to get it back to original while incorporating some of Molly's design preferences. This was a great practice house for the far farmhouse and I'm sure that if you watch this video and compare it to the farmhouse videos that will hopefully be coming in the future, you'll see some consistencies. Local contractors were hired to upgrade all the electrical and plumbing. Lath and plaster was maintained where possible, supplemented by drywall work. The plan was to extend that into a larger window, but it got too expensive, so the little window remained. You can see the old wallpaper beneath the paint in the dining room there. Reconstruction of the arch into the living room. It was pretty neat to be involved in this and to see that there's still opportunity to find old houses and try to get them back to their original spectacular designs. A lot of the homes in Canyon City are of this style but are being rented out and 
Um, could definitely use some renovation. We see some people come in and get into these houses and the uh, first thing they do is rip the old windows out and put vinyl windows in. Which is probably the smart thing to do, but something about those old windows sure makes me warm inside. I am hoping to improve my editing skills eventually and I wasn't sure what the best method to illustrate the transformation was so I did a comparison before and during construction, a comparison during construction after construction and then a comparison of before construction and after construction or remodel I should say and once again wasn't really thinking of the documentation and videoing as this went unfortunately so it's very kind of stapled together hoping it's worthwhile to watch and hoping it illustrates the dramatic change of before and after. I just didn't want to lose the opportunity to at least somewhat document this really fun and semi-elaborate transformation. Kudos to Molly. I'm going to miss this house. And these are the photos of the finished product. Luckily I took some photos before we removed all the furniture and started packing up to move out. The house is going to be rented out to a friend of ours for the next year and a half and at the end of that time the house is either going to be sold or potentially put on Airbnb but we'll likely document again before that happens if we refurnish the house. But it'll never look like it did because a lot of this furniture has been sold. The staging kind of has all gone away. So unfortunately, this is all there is. So hopefully it's inspiring. If I was watching this, I would be inspired because I loved this house. So thanks again for watching. Um, also wanted to include in this video a quick tour of Canyon City. I've been going to Canyon City, Colorado for a lot of years, but I really didn't appreciate it until Molly bought this house there. I've also developed a love for small towns and seeing all the old buildings remain Canyon City has a few streets of truly amazing homes. People are starting to come in and restore some of them that haven't been done already. Some of them have been done very nicely already. These are a few examples of the ones that we really liked. I hate to say this, but it's true in my mind that they just don't build houses like this anymore. Or anything for that matter, whether it's old cars or business buildings there's just seems to be a lack of style and patience in the construction which I guess makes this old stuff that much more dramatic the more time we spent downtown Canyon City the more you find this bank here was restored recently there were just so many cool buildings every time we walked down we just couldn't get enough of it. Hoping to get back down there someday and, and spend a lot more time because it's very near and dear to my heart and I think Molly's as well. Hope you enjoyed it.
Might as well show you a couple things to do around town in Canyon City. Tons of stuff to do. Mostly we would go mountain biking or hiking. But there's climbing. You can ride the train through the Royal Gorge. There's Royal Gorge Bridge. Skyline Drive or just tripping around town. Hopefully you make it out and have some fun there. Cheers from Canyon City.